Welcome to this episode of YouTube. We're featuring some fall colors and we certainly do see a lot of vegetation in Grizzers area and now it's turning into a nice color to contrast his retirement area. And Aiden has given us a little bit of fall colors, but in this case, it's the color of the rumen that he rolled in and the le recent deer feeding. So his coloration is on his hide and that kind of wears off a little bit. So. The pups are doing quite well. We have Axel is up to 67 pounds and Grayson's at 59 pounds. So we are seeing them progressing nicely. And even then you look at the height between the pups and especially bolts, uh, they are certainly gaining in height and are certainly doing quite well integrating into the pack. And we are seeing some very, very improved behavior on Grayson's part and tolerance of Denali, although there are still our moments, but we're seeing less tuck tail with Grayson, and Grayson has more confidence to be able to engage and do a threat display if Denali gets too rambunctious. And one of the things Denali's been doing is picking burrs out of the pups, which they have a lot of, and that's one of the projects for the Working for Wolves crew, is we're going to try to pull these burrs out of the enclosure and try to re you know, get to the point where we don't see as many stuck in the pup's hair. Uh, but that is something that Denali has been doing is is uh, pulling those burrs and that's making Grayson a little bit uncomfortable. But not anything very significant. And here is Grayson doing a scratch and Denali approaching. And you can see uh, pretty much indifferent to that approach. Uh, much more confident than he's been in the previous months. And so they will be six months of age on November 2nd, and uh, we will be featuring a webinar next week, next Thursday, October 27th, so a week from this Thursday, uh, we will feature a webinar, and we'll have a chance to probably start with Luna and see how things are going over there, and then go into the exhibit pack, and really the webinar is, is kind of uh, celebrating the six-month birthday of the pup, so here is Axel coming in. You can see again Axel with a little bit of burrs on his side. He does a quick lick to Aiden, who's covered with green rumen. And uh, that did wash off or kind of wore off a little bit. But uh, that's a nature of the business when working with wolves. They like to scent roll. And for the pups, they like to get up into the woodland and get involved in things. So that means they've got burrs all over their body. And Denali's actually got a couple of burrs there as well. So you can see on Grizzers area, the vegetation still got a little bit of greenness but it is uh, getting sparse so visibility is better we can see farther into his area than we had in the past and we're seeing an interesting stimuli uh, with Grizzer uh, as we are talking about Luna and working with Luna's situation we built a couple of shared fence lines and I'll show you that a little bit later in the clip uh, but uh, Grizzer gets pretty excited about any kind of work that we're doing and uh, maybe fall maybe a little bit of the cooler weather making him a little bit excited but he did give us a little bit of that Grizzer 500 he does in a raised leg urination and a mark after the wolf care staff had walked through and collected scat so once he gives that RLU then he's going to scrape the ground and that scraping of the ground gets him pretty excited and he goes into uh, a what we call the Grizzer 500. Uh, basically, it's just a uh, Grizzer kind of racing around the pen, darting in and out of the wolf care staff, and pretty excited. So for a 12 and a half year old, that's a pretty good pace for him to keep up. And like I said, Luna's aware of what goes on. There's no doubt she has shown interest in the exhibit pack, but not really obsession with the exhibit pack. We did bring Aiden and Denali and Bolts in next to her while she was in holding and uh, that didn't go so well. Um, her and Aiden had a little bit of issues and uh, I'm not certain that we're um, wanting to change up the dynamics right now for the exhibit pack. The, the exhibit pack is very calm, the pups are very relaxed and so we decided to continue to uh, give Luna this special time to be able to make her feel a little bit more comfortable, to make her feel a little bit re more relaxed and to hopefully give her a little bit of relief. Uh, we are still obviously using anti-inflammatories and all the pharmaceuticals that we um, have been prescribed, but we're giving staff some training in, 
and by the looks of Luna, um, she's having a very good response to the staff, just, you know, again, um, physically making her feel a little bit better. And I, I really thought I would take a moment to address the concerns. Uh, there were some concerns voiced on Facebook um, concerning our using a CST workshop uh, practitioner um, that we uh, brought in to help us maybe kind of look at Luna's situation. So we just want to reiterate, as a nonprofit organization, our members and our donors support our mission, and we are conscientious, and we utilize every dollar with as much thought um, as we can. We strive to provide the best care for our captive wolves that we're entrusted with, and this treatment was brought to, into our program after some recommendations from two other captive wolf facilities that we work with, and it was sponsored, uh, paid for by one of our members. So it's, it's not something that we're doing in lieu of any veterinary care. Uh, we checked with our veterinary advisors um, before we brought this training into our wolf care program um, to make sure that you know they're they're the lead on our animal care and to make sure that they were okay with us um, you know trying options um, and uh, with this uh, technique we were taught we see Luna and the pups actually very receptive to the body work whether it's a technique or the fact that we're engaging uh, the wolves in a relaxing posture um, in a you know consistent fashion amongst all wolf care staff is really beyond my expertise but when I see a captive wolf's life improved by any management technique, whether it be pharmaceuticals, body work, positive reinforcement for food or other behavioral modifications, we would be remiss as captive managers if we didn't have an open mind about all the possible techniques to employ um, the best practices for our wolves. And, and I really need to listen to Luna here. And, and this is a very relaxing moment for Luna. And like I say, we she presents herself. As soon as we walk into the enclosure, she presents herself and puts her her back leg um, facing staff and stands there and waits for us to interact. So as I said, we are looking at all options for Luna. So we um, built a shared fence line or just a kind of protected area of fence line uh, between Luna and Grizzer and let Luna let Grizzer come back from the east side. Uh, past Luna and go into the back habitat and you can see fairly receptive the only issue that we had was that Grizzer saw Denali um, across the way and uh, got a teacher tail and got a little excited and that got Luna a little excited so uh, working for wolves, uh, which is next weekend we're going to need to build a visual barrier there to keep Grizzer and Denali from having a visual contact um, but uh, again this is uh, just another option for us um, if uh, Luna and Grizzard can spend some time together while we're trying to figure yeah, things out, that would be great. So I'm going to end this. Uh, we just had a photographer's weekend, so I'm going to end this YouTube with some photographs uh, from our photographers showing some of the fall colors for our wolves. And again, uh, thank you for watching. We do have a webinar coming up on October 27th, Thursday night, and uh, at 5 p.m. Central Time. Um, if you're interested, you can follow the link at the end of the YouTube and be able to find out more information. Thanks again.